Welcome back to Farm and Hammer everyone. Uh, today's a big day, I'm picking up some pigs later today. But for now, I'm going to give you guys an update on the bottle calves because I know it's been a few videos. So as you guys know, these are the two group pins. Um, they're off to a great start. They're all doing really well. Everyone in this pen, all drinking the milk, um, all eating grain. I think they're up to eating close to eight pounds a day between all of them. And uh, eating some grain, eating some straw. I've been laying some hay out on the side and they stick their heads through and eat out here just so they don't keep it all, get it all dirty. But uh, yeah, these guys are all doing well. No problems with scours here. In this pen, however, I did have a little, another health issue. So one morning I came out here and one of them, his eyes were all swollen. And I was thinking maybe he got stung by a bee on the face or something. It was really warm the last couple days. And uh, it's like, oh, he'll be fine. I've had this happen before, so that's what I assumed it was. But the next day his eyes were even bigger and they looked like they were about to pop out. And so I didn't really know what to do. I hadn't seen anything like it before. I'll show a picture of it on this video here. Anyway, I guessed it was just an allergy of some kind, so I did give him a Benadryl. Did that twice, and within two days it was back to normal, but that was a little scary there. But he's all back to normal. The rest of these are all healthy still. And then on into this barn, these two Angus crosses are still doing pretty well. Uh, starting to eat some grain, obviously eating some hay as well. And then these three, these three are getting close to weaning. They're to the point where they're eating a lot of grain. They're six and a half weeks old, roughly. Um, and they're gonna be ready to be weaned in seven and a half weeks, so I'm gonna start cutting their milk back, giving them a lot more water and a lot more feed and see if they can keep up. These two, they jumped and broke the panel in the middle, so they're now together. They won't hurt anything for the last week, so. Um, anyway, these three heifers are doing great. These next three, they're the same age as those three, but they aren't progressing as much as the other ones are. I don't know why that is. They just aren't eating as much grain. Uh, same age, they're just not growing as well and not eating as much grain. So uh, these are probably gonna be taken to the full eight weeks and hopefully by then they'll be, hopefully by then they'll be ready to wean. Um, this bull here, he's actually pretty close. He's doing well. Um, and then these three, once again, they're all doing fine. No issues here, no sickness, no disease. So bottle calves in this barn and they are doing great. And lastly, I'll take you into this group. Obviously it's super muddy out. We've still had a ton of rain. Haven't gotten a break, but uh, these 10 in here are all doing really well. They're all in the milk bar. I know it's hard to see in here, but all the scours have now cleared up. I did have to treat a couple, but they're all back to normal. Pooping regular and uh, they're all nibbling on some grain. Uh, this belted calf uh, that you guys have seen before, he did have some kind of blockage in his stomach. He wasn't bloat, but um, I did have to give some mineral oil to him because he was not feeling good and there was something stopped up in there. So, but he's back to normal as well. Uh, he's back on the milk bar. He was only down for a couple hours there, but he's, all these are healthy, even though they're outside and even when it's raining, they'll walk out here and get wet. Um, now I'm just cautious about pneumonia. I'm watching them really close, make sure no one's coughing because all this cold, nasty weather is not good for them. But, so far, all the bottle calves are doing fine. So now I'm gonna fast forward to later on today when I'm picking up pigs. So I just finished picking up the pigs. You can probably hear them in the background. I've had them for about, I don't know, maybe two hours now, and they've been fed, watered, and now they're, I guess, staying busy. This is the barn we cleaned out. Um, you can tell the cat is terrified of the pigs. I try to get you a better look at them. So for those of you wondering what breed these are, these are Idaho pasture pigs. So the Idaho pasture pig is a mix between Cooney Coonies, Berkshires, and I believe Durox. Um, so it's kind of a mix and a mutt, but it is a relatively new breed. I think they're officially developed in 2007 or 2008, something like that. 
So they've barely just been around for over 10 years. And uh, the cat's terrible. Hey, hey, none of that. Um, so now they're terrified. Um, she did not like that at all. So anyway, these are Idaho pasture pigs and uh, these here are five weeks old, I believe. And I found them online um, from a farmer 40 some minutes away from me. I was really struggling to find any feeder pigs available at this time. Normally in my area, there's a bunch. There's probably 40 or 50 on Craigslist at a time. And there just isn't any at all this year, which I've mentioned before. And so I went to Facebook and I joined one of the local swine groups to see if there's anyone selling. There's a bunch of people asking if there's any pigs available and no one was selling hardly. Uh, but I did see one person that recommended someone and so I ended up finding their website and here we are, got these pigs. And they were a little bit more expensive than a normal feeder pig would be. They were 80 bucks total and these are all castrated males. So a little bit about the breed, they are a little bit smaller because they're bark cooney cooney but their snouts are also upturned a little bit. So they root less, they do a lot more grazing. And the only downside would be they don't get as big as quickly as a feeder, like a normal feeder pig would. So these will take these will take nine or 10 months to reach that 250 pound mark um, and be ready for butchering. But uh, you know, nine or 10 months, they don't tear up your pasture nearly as much and a little more friendly. So um, hopefully she, calms down and gets used to them but anyway these are the pigs and uh try to get them towards the sunlight so you can actually get a good good look at them and i don't even know how much these weigh they don't they don't weigh too much they're pretty small but um like i said right now they're they're not very friendly but they're getting used to me i think so and this one here in the front, he's the only one that does have waddles, which are those little things hanging on the bottom of his neck. The rest of them don't have them, which doesn't hurt them if you know anything about them. It's just something that some of them have. Um, I did give them some grass when I first brought them home because that's what they're used to. They have just been on grass and with their mom. And so they're used to grass. I gave them grass. They've cleaned it up for the most part. And you can see there, they're eating some cornmeal. I soaked a little cornmeal in milk and made it kind of a paste. And they're seeming to really enjoy that. So they've been nibbling on that all day. And they do have fresh water here, which they've been drinking out of. And they've been bent down there in the corner in the straw. So. Overall, everything is going well. I will pick some grass and see if they'll eat some more of that. Anyway, so we're gonna pick some grass here. This is orchard grass. This right here is fescue. Um, I'm also gonna try to find some clover in here. Snap some of that. But this is gonna be the first pasture they're gonna be moved into. The cows were here. Oh, I don't know, maybe two weeks ago and since it's just starting to get warm it's all starting to green up and grow more but um, this is going to be the first pasture they're going to be moved out onto once they're trained to electric fence which I picked up some premier one hog netting and we're going to try that out this year I'll do a whole review on that product later and that is the plan on fencing of course we have barbed wire on the perimeter and um, once they're big enough that'll keep them in but for now, we're gonna be trying the netting. Like I said, I'll have a review on that product later. And guys, I apologize, it's dark in here. There's not a light. Well, there is, but the electricity is not hooked up. So we're gonna to try to rig up some kind of light in here so I can come out and check them in the dark if I need to. And not be holding the flashlight the whole time. But it also makes videos easier to shoot whenever it's light in here. And you can see them, they're still nibbling on some cornmeal. They're used to eating pellets. So they aren't used to, uh, and he found some grass. It's 
It's not as dark in here as it looks. It's just this camera doesn't doesn't do it justice. You can see him chowing down on grass. So if you guys have been watching these videos for a long time, you will know I'm not a pig person. I've never raised pigs. I've actually never really hardly been around pigs besides one or two, just going to different farms. Um, I have toured a couple very large hog operations, but those are all indoor, of course. And pastured pigs just aren't very popular, especially now. Pigs are hard to come by, at least in my area. So not very many people are raising them. And the ones that are having them in giant barns. And like I mentioned, this breed, they are smaller. They don't get as big. I think the sow that these came out of, she was at like 500 pounds. And then the boar they were out of, he was like 250, but he was a year old. And he'd been in with sows the whole time. So um, if they're on a feeder diet, they'll get probably 250 pounds and probably nine months or so. But um, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I'm not in any big hurry. It does make it easier to butcher them in the winter anyway, so if it's December or January by the time these guys are ready to butcher, that's fine with me. And we will be trying to process these on our own. At least two of them. They'll just be for family members. And the other two I may consider selling. We'll see um, who wants pork by then. But anyway, thought I'd just show you guys the little pigs. And, uh, Hearing them smack on food is just about as entertaining as listening to cows graze. So I can sit out here and watch these guys all day. Like I said, they were 80 bucks. It's a little bit more expensive than feeder pigs should be. Uh, actually, probably double the price. But like I said, pigs were hard to come by this year, and these are kind of a rare breed. So I will, I'm willing to pay a little bit more for something that's hard to find. And hopefully I've got a good relationship with the farmer. And so next year if I want some more or if I want breeding stock, I can go back and get some from them. But anyway, I'm glad to see them settling in. I do want to get a hog waterer set up, which will just be with the hog nipple. And that way we don't have to deal with filling up water and then flipping over and tearing things up. But anyway guys, I'm really excited. I've, like I said, I've never had pigs before, so this is all new to me. And if you guys have any recommendations or comments, please leave those down below. And I'll be sure to check those out and try to respond if needed be. So anyway, like I said, I'm in over my head. So if you guys have any recommendations, please leave those down below. Um, and I don't know when a new shipment of calves is gonna come in. I was hoping I'd get another one this week, but none of the farmers have called me yet and so I'm guessing maybe another week or two till I get some more calves in. For the time being, uh, these guys are going to keep me busy, especially for next week while they are small and while I'm figuring everything out. So, um, anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you all next time.